Okay. So, yeah. Um, good morning, good evening, you know, uh, wherever, wherever you are. Um, this is an online class for my sequel. So, uh, my name is Marunitra and I will be instructor for my sequel. Um, we will just go through a uh, little bit concepts of MySQL and also um, we don't have so I will be giving you access to MySQL database and we don't have this um, admin access um, super admin access we can create some of things but we cannot uh, um, you know we cannot have a uh, lot of access like creating database but let's see, let's figure it out what we can do in MySQL. So I will be going through all of the concepts one by one. We'll just see the document and execute the SQL queries and see how does it work. So this is the introduction class. So this first lecture um, of, uh, of my first lecture is introduction and access to MySQL database. We'll just get access. So my intention here is to give you access to the database right to give you access to the database and you have some practice out there based on my you know recordings based on my you know based on the documents which i provide but this you can have those uh, look and see if, if that does looks good for you um, you know so let's go a little bit uh, an introductory part here um, so MySQL, so it's it, SQL is structured query language. Okay, you have to. Uh, there are a set of instructions where you actually you. So it's like you have a lot of data, right? See, let me give you some background in this introduction class, right? Let me give you some background out there, um, and we'll go through chapters one after the other. Uh, we'll actually look into the document, okay? Um, um, we we'll look into this document and execute the SQL here and see if the SQL is working or not and then uh, you can access too because I will be giving you access and then you can uh, have this this is a more of a tutorial kind of thing you know tutorial and have basic understanding on this SQL okay and this is actually good for um, my SQL is very good for Unix based system let's say uh, let's uh, let's find out. You know what? Let's 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 find out how this thing works in Unix. Okay. No, no, we are not going here with uh, Unix. But um, if you know Unix, and if you have uh, attended my previous classes, so you might have seen that. And if you didn't, uh, this is oh, this is not very oh, really good. Oh, I thought it was not responding. Really whenever I take class right this Unix never responds not sure why but when I'm not in the class and it, it does very well so that's bad okay so um, you know if you have Unix right uh, this is a Unix and uh, you don't have to we are not going into this Unix and uh, utilizing I will be giving you separate access for this um, you know, I'll be uh, we'll be having this complete separate access for our database. Um, um, this thing thing too much of time. Okay. Um, so uh, the thing is, uh, this thing is really good in Unix actually. If you have this Unix and oh uh, wow, it's it doesn't want to move further. No. So. Um, you know, guess what? Guess what? Um, we uh, have an another show. I have to show. Let's see this. Ah, I think I'm taking an open that screen. Oh, wow. Yeah, actually, this thing actually had a limit of time, but unfortunately, we we'll try this once again and see if uh, actually th these are the free uh, Unix operating system and um, let's take that so we'll just try another Unix actually and if I'm not sure if it works okay so here we go let's try this 
and uh, okay great so so if you have unix just start mysql and uh, that's it you know that's it now you you can type your this they use maria db and whatever they use uh, you know you you can use your now you are in the sql now you can do so here we are not we help you know you can get help in this if you are trying to do this in this unix then this is not the appropriate class um this here what we are trying to do here is but it's good for using here if you are using this that's good you are, you, you know you are um we're good we'll just exit here and uh, we'll exit this shell also good um so that, that's what just uh, not to show you how it's actually good for and we don't require this anymore. um to that that's it's very good and it also goes with php actually pre hyper processor so mysql is a relational database uh, and most this is open source database uh, and it's a database you understand what is database right so database means to store data and a data can be anything and it trust me it's anything let's see now even if you're going to amazon.com let's say if, even if i have to go to amazon.com there is a database for whole set of these things you know they are maintaining you know pvs of data petabytes of data not even there i think it was gone even beyond pvs of data so all these things is stored somewhere where it is stored database so um there are many flavors there is oracle database db2 you know the oracle is more famous everyone says oracle okay great uh, here we'll just try to understand my sql here because it's open source and if you know one sql that's more than enough the other sql will be uh, uh, similar functionality you know the um, syntax will be different but uh, the way of performing the sequence will be you know similar uh, not same uh, because functions will be different and you know, all those things but okay so here uh, it, it, yeah it goes into php uh, whatever you are doing but it's it don't have to be because it's free you know company can use still my sql you know you don't have to pay for this so um so it's good uh and yeah as i told you my sql runs on unix now we, we, as i shown you before it runs on c unix and it's it's a dbms database management system it's an rdbms actually a relational database management we we'll see what's relations not relation means so you have this table you have star schema snow snowflake schema galaxy schema and all those things uh, but we will not go that thing that is more theoretical and more concept uh, but we'll have some touch base on that so okay so capacity to handle okay we are not worrying about this uh, this in this tutorial because this is for my sequel and uh, we will go the song notes and all those things we'll actually have these chapters you know we'll go one by one and see uh, how does it looks like so this is more of a my professional my sequel you know um, class okay this is we'll cover most of the basics most of the basics okay i might miss something then if i miss something then that's your homework okay take it as homework um, you have to figure it out all right so and uh, see the uh, see this is more of a relation database you have this sql database and lot of uh, here and there's a lot of things happening here okay alternatives um yeah we have this alternatives for this uh, okay so we, so we here we will be dis discussing about my sql and you know Um, okay, these are the advantages of uh, MySQL. You can go ahead and I'll put this handout. So you can go ahead and see uh, if it's uh, you know it's good and see here. Yeah, see here MySQL. Whenever see whenever you're running website, normally this website, right? Whenever you're working on that, uh, this is included with PHP. So PHP pre pre hyper processing and uh, it actually. Uh, displays the web pages okay it's web pages on the browser so all the data which i show for example amazon.com right um th those are web page 
that's not based on PHP. They might have this different thing altogether, but still they require us a database. It doesn't matter if you're using PHP or not, but they might also require MySQL. They may they might use uh, you know everything. They might use Oracle. Might use um, MongoDB. MongoDB is you know, far more um, thing, and they, every every database has its own advantage and disadvantages so uh, it will, they will use based on that so this has own advantages and disadvantages most important is mysql is open source and no cost it's free everyone can use it um so here okay so you know you can go ahead and look into this okay this is just an you know, introduction and let's see here and then okay great here you know what it's now I'll be giving you access get hold of this access here I'll be putting this document let's see here um, we will be so you know username udemy underscore test and uh, you know password now go ahead and click here so I will not, uh, so I'll not go in detail into this. Don't mess around with this thing. Once you have access, go just for the SQL. This is your job. Go to SQL and execute the SQL here. Don't mess around with anyone's database. Don't do anything um, because just because it's free, you don't want to misuse it because a lot more people will be accessing this. Okay, just keep that in mind. So you don't want to do anything because a lot of people if you are screwing up this lot of people gets affected so you don't want to do this okay now what we have here is this is a database okay um, the problem is we cannot create a database here can we uh, we actually you know you supposed to do that but let's see here let's try to create here. through SQL we cannot create database now I'm just trying to create a database and uh, uh, give my DB something kind of my DB and semicolon now a semicolon is not required here this doesn't work because um, guess what we'll just go to the new and just try to do that SQL thing uh, create um, database uh, my DB let's call it as my DB uh, sorry uh, my DB okay either you don't require a semicolon um, but in, if you're working in Oracle you might require select this this doesn't work um, showing you an error that access is denied because I don't have access for this of course you don't have access for creating a database you cannot create a database but you can create tables too um, that you can do okay uh, we can do that uh, we cannot create database at this point of time uh, let's look into uh, we know what we have this uh, fantastic uh, notes here uh, this is mm, tutorial and we'll go through this is kind of 200 pages and we'll go through all this you know if you have patience go ahead you know you know I don't think we can create user too so we, we will be skipping these things because um, the reason because we don't have this admin access this is a lot okay this is a professional level MySQL so we are actually working on professional level MySQL uh, but um, but we will not be working everything on this because the reason we don't have access okay guess what let's get started here um, creating a database in MySQL so I already did um, but it didn't work but here let's let's see here but you know what we can go to new so we tried that through SQL but uh, you know what here you can try this actually this is various language actually uh, 
collation who will try I know Udemy uh, we have test dev prod environment let's see Udemy dot dev and try to create here uh, access denied because you don't have access to this uh, you know uh, you, you can't do anything all right you have limited access for this so the, uh, um, we cannot create so so what we'll do here is so this so this is the interface actually so this is the interface and uh, here you can write SQL okay you're you're more than welcome to create table you know do a lot of things even though you don't have admin access we don't require it um, because you know the commands um, just use this commands if you are admin uh, you can use this commands and uh, you know and uh, uh, you know you can use that so uh, let's go to this SQL one by one uh, so section 1.1 will go so we try to create doesn't matter we have already have database udemy underscore test this is the database here you see this this is the database we, we don't require any more database so we already created it um, we also go through this designer and see later how does it look like but for now let's see here I just don't want this thing go okay now use my db okay don't have okay so we are um, you know what let's let's try this use um, udemy underscore test that means I'm trying to use uh, this database so I'll just use this and hit go ah it works good that means we are trying to use the database now if I want to use the use command is to use that particular database okay now use information that is we have one more database you see here schema not sure what exactly is this I never created it but um, we'll find out we'll find out if this thing works or not um, information schema let's see should work should work um, and here you go the, you see this line of tables showed up um, so this is how you can change your database from one database to another so I never created this this was the default database which we showed up so now we are actually in this database but we don't want into this database we want into Udemy underscore test or your test environment and go ahead and click on this and we are using uh, this use means use command that use um, shows that you are using that database okay so we are in database that's good so this thing is done okay you know what uh, so we you know we we'll just use this SQL let's see if this SQL works I have not tried that before, we will just try it right here. So we want to, so you know what, let's let's use this table, actually I had this employee table uh, which we used to do, uh, but uh, since you know this lot of examples are here with this um, my table, so we just don't confuse it with the employee table. So we will use the table, we will just create a table in the new database that is Udemy underscore test, that is a database we are creating this let's go one by one here what does it mean so we are, we are trying to create a table called my table it can be anything you don't have to be my table it can be employee table or you know whatever table um, giving its id integer un, unsigned not null that means that column id the says column and it's saying it should be not null and the username you're giving as 100 should be not null that means it should be some value at least zero or something but it cannot be not null there is three columns technically i'm creating three columns and the primary key i'm assigning is id this would be id that means it could be incremental um that's what it says the auto increment right and it will be a primary key 
will be an ID. So, here, so the primary key will not go in detail about these primary keys. There are a lot of primary keys. Uh, there's composite primary keys and you know a lot of things, foreign keys, candidate key. Uh, we'll not go on all those things for now. We'll just concentrate on this. Um, so uh, let's see here. Okay, good. Uh, oh, oh, we'll try to execute it. Now comma is semicolon is not required, I guess. If it gets error, oh, we'll see. We'll figure it out. So I hope that you guys understood this uh, this one uh, this thing, right? What I'm trying to do is create table called my table it can be anything it can be employee I, I want to change it to employee but since we are following this tutorial uh, we want a um, lot of things we'll be doing here so okay and I'm creating three columns these are uh, these are the columns ID username email and for that column what I'm trying to say that column will be integer so this integer where char with the means variable character uh, that will be 100 is max 100 characters is max is 100 characters is max and it will be all of the not null so i hope you guys understand what is null not null null means nothing okay that means it's nothing means the difference between zero and nothing is zero is a character or a number or something right null is nothing you know it's empty space and you have the space which is empty that's null okay so there's a reason we call it not now and here we are assigning primary key and which is id that means this will be id let's try to and go ahead and create this i hope this works let's get here oh how interesting so we did create without a semicolon semicolon here is not required here so this guy used semicolon but it you can use it you don't have to use it so now let's see what what this query told and what happened actually here so here you got this uh, whoa we got indexes here ah, i never thought of that um so we got columns what columns okay new is not column new is by default by this so we got column email id yeah, sorry email id username but these are empty we didn't fill here we just created an um you know just a columns which um the three columns email id and username id here is okay um and the uh, indexes was automatically created for you the reason automatically it was created because you assigned this primary key as id so that the indexes is very useful because you will be index is useful when you assign suddenly assign this uh, primary key very good now we have this <coughs> um you know uh, this table we have created a table how do we know that we have created a table here you sir here you can see they my table you can change it anytime you want as a query or by <coughs> um manually by clicking here uh, and indexes was created for you because you assigned primary key right here idea now we'll just go a little bit see this user interface here okay see how does that looks like go to the designer section and this is your uh, wow this is the primary key and and this is um, this is this has access uh, this is more for architect point of view or database administrator we don't really do this you know uh, database administrator this is since we are going as a professional mysql so that's the reason i'm trying to show you all this but um normally you don't have all this access this is architect level access and architect looks into here and says okay but once you have this um many tables this is one table we just this is a joke uh, one table we don't deal with one table there are plenty of tables you know, hundreds of tables and and these primary keys are connected to these foreign keys and those foreign keys are connected to another foreign keys and this that's why there is a schemas right this star schemas uh, snowflake schema and galaxy schema we'll not go there we'll we'll just uh, skip those things because um that thing is completely different thing this is that whole theory is actually uh, this thing is um, 
completely a different database theory. We don't uh, want to uh, concentrate on that one much. Uh, but if we have time, we'll go through this one. Okay, so we we'll go to here. Okay, good. Uh, now what we do here is now. So we did create a table and uh, uh, it created not null. Okay, guess what? So it should be not null. So some values should be there. So let's see how to figure it out. This value. Select um, star. Sorry, star from. Um, you know what my table oh, there you go and this select it let's see see here the problem is uh, although we said it's not null it's still showing that because there's no data here we didn't put any data okay so we'll not worry about it we'll just go back to our tutorial here okay so we'll just put some values for our um, the table what we have created uh, I'm sorry columns for the table what we have created here so again semicolon is not quite, quite. now there's a um, SQL insert that means you're trying to insert some values okay I get this some error here actually Okay, no witness. Okay, uh, again I think that shows error. We just quit that error. Okay, now what happens here is insert into, um, just ignore it. I mean, this thing is, I know it's annoying, but okay, um, you're trying to insert. Oh, sorry. So this is a problem. We just try to. Oh, okay. We just log in here again. So the PHP and we go right here. So there's a problem with the freezing, right? Oops. So you know what? We'll do one thing. You know? We'll do here is so it's that copy paste is really problematic. So we need to use this kind of thing. Okay, so here I okay, hope this should not give any more problems. Okay. Um what we are trying to do here is the spaces are not really required, I don't think so. I will just figure it out right now. So insert insert some value into that my table. Just now we have created my table and username you here you can see here username is the column and email is the two two things are column and what values what do you want to insert the values my user and username let's try to run this query i hope it runs good oh we are lucky here fantastic so oh, we are very lucky here okay this query did run okay now how do we know this this way we'll just use select Oops, sorry. select star that means a wild card from uh, what table my table and uh, we'll just select this and run it see the uh, whoops Okay. You see here, uh, there's data now. The ID number is one. See, we didn't assign the ID. Remember, it. remember, we didn't assign the ID number. We are using only these two. So what we did is we inserted that uh, values and told the values to put this value here. What values? Username and the email ID as MySQL. But we never told to put ID here. So why it, it's automatically take as uh, one because when we create remember when we created uh, an ID we, this is that's the reason indexes was created automatically for you so that means it has automatically and that's a primary key remember um, 
so it's auto increment so whenever you create new data it gets one two three four five so that thing gets updated automatically so that's good point for you um, so that's the reason right um, uh, you don't have to worry about this ID kind of things this ID is for um, you know for our internal purpose when you want to get some data from there and you use this ID because it's a primary key and you can get any data from the primary key one of the example of the primary key is SSN now they don't have see here's the thing there was some thing here um, SSN is supposed to be a primary key a natural key or if it is ODBMS then this um, it's a natural key or otherwise it's a kind of primary key see there was the one one thing that uh, had it um, <coughs> California issued seven assistants with the name Jesus Christ okay so all those names Jesus Christ is the same name but different SSN so SSN will be your primary key so names can be same right names is not unique but primary key is unique and not null it will be never a null okay so that's enough. Uh, so we'll get to next one. So what we did inserted some character into. Um, uh, we inserted some character into that uh, into table. Okay, we created a table. First we created a database. Okay, we didn't create a database because we don't have access. I created by um, user level that is from website and went to the created so but in real time you have to use that queries queries are good um, in now we created a table we inserted a table now we want to update this table let's find out how to update a table now this is a very important thing use this notepad every time this is java issue because okay Ooh. now oh, we don't require this okay yes. so we know we are in this so, so here you can see here this is a server sql server mysql server and we are database which database you you demi underscore test which table my table okay great so now what we are trying to do here is update update is very important command uh, what you do is update mysql and i'm sorry my table so you are trying to update your table with set username at my user where id is equal to 8 oh that's very interesting now what we are trying to do is we are trying to change the primary key that's it we already have this okay let's find out we have this id oh we cannot see this you know what let's just I don't think we can do this here from but uh, let's okay well, let's try to run only this query let's see if it works yeah we cannot uh, we have to open a separate thing and do this okay now this um so here what we are trying to do here is um okay could you read? I don't I don't know okay so what we are trying to do here is we are trying to change the ID from 1 to 8. Let's see. Update. Uh, we have two columns here. Interesting. Oh, wow. How interesting. So you got zero rows affected and query took 0 0.0012 seconds. This, this performance is very important. We'll talk about this performance later. But right now, uh, our query was ran successfully here in mysql you know guess what how do you know that that's what how we'll write a sql here again select uh, just a wildcard from table uh, we know already this table and how do you know that now that number one got changed to eight that's what i thought no so what actually happened was let's try to go back to our ah, see the problem is 
there was never ID 8 okay so that's the thing never got changed um, we know guess what I use the same table there was never it there was a no row with 8 so that's the reason it never happened so you know what we'll just use this one my user I will change it to oh I don't want to mess this one uh, you know what let's let, let's use this actually and create a second column for our own purpose uh, let's do this okay for our own reason we'll use this one um, insert um, we we'll just put a user name underscore one two yeah example dot com and example dot uh, org now let's run it let's see what happens if this thing goes wrong great now you got two rows guess what we got two rows now um, let, let's find out select star from my table and let's see what happened all right ah you see here id card we we got this uh two uh user name our industry all right we here we got this two columns that's good now what we do is we we will try to run this query now actually uh oops we don't go to delete right now see this guy's query didn't work because there is no eight uh, now we will see here remember this um, before entering here you see here id will take us two because there's a two id okay and we are using set my user uh, so what this username will be changed to uh no i don't want my user i want uh, uh, some you know my name you know why not my name why not right um yeah yeah why not okay where id is equal to two so what i'm trying to do here is i'm updating my table from username to manu right let's try to do this let's see if it works Ooh, one row affected that's that's fantastic uh, you know, I never thought this would work here, but uh, you know, we, we are really working on this good. Uh, I hope you will find this useful, this tool, right? All right, and now uh, let's. Uh, it's, it doesn't show here what it got updated, so we want to use this again to see here. Uh, you can go manually, or I'm just trying to do here some, um, you know, because you'll be also having access to this. So here you go. See here, I've changed my username. That's what this uh, update statement means. That means uh, uh, that guy, you know, this that was a fluke giving an ID eight. The, the ID eight doesn't didn't exist, so that's why the, it, that query ran, but nothing happened because there's nothing. Um, there is no ID called um, eight. There's a reason that thing got pretty much. Uh, you know, flu kind of thing but but we understand what is what is that so I changed with my user to my name right I can do that with the email ID too right uh, I can do that too so all right now we go back to next section pretty quick we we'll have 12 pages we have 200 to go so we we'll go but we will not uh, worry this basic concepts will be enough uh, will not go super admin kind of things those grand statement revoke those don't even work so don't bother but understand it this, this is how it works okay this is for your understanding all right so now what we do here is delete now there is a delete um, <clears throat> so actually I work more on to this oracle actually uh, rather than uh, mysql mysql is a little bit for me are different but commands remain same so there's a reason I'm able to work on this because um, um, I use mostly Oracle Oracle is good I used to have my own queries for group by statements and all those things and 
bring a lot of things here. But not, uh, no, no, not with the deleting, creating, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the way long thing. And we are not supposed to do anything like that uh, in corporate environment. So, all right. So here we'll try to delete our um, row, okay? This ID8 is a joke, it's, it's not even exists. So. Now, so this is very important. Remember this? Delete from table. If you don't put where class, you are in serious trouble right there. Okay, you are in trouble. Why? Because it deletes all the records, whatever it's there. Okay. So you are you want to put here where ID is equal to two. So we want to delete only one row from that column. Remember that column had two rows. We have created second row for ourselves. Now we will delete that row. Uh, that, that eight is a joke. So this never existed. If you have ten rows, then it never makes sense. But here we are using this for. Our okay. So let's run this query. And let's go ahead and click on this. Go. Ah, see, this is giving confirmation here. So you want to make sure that your query is right. Delete from table because if you are not using this where ID, you are in trouble in corporate environment. There are millions of data, and all the millions of data are screwed up if you are not using this where ID. So be careful. This primary key. This is the primary key. And ID is equal to two. Yes, I want to execute it and one row got affected and it took this much of time uh, too bad um, now we will select try to see uh, from my table and see there will be only one record now you see here my user that thing my uh, my username and email id is gone right so that's how the delete command works okay um, we can have these various commands various uh, clauses here but you know we will uh, we'll skip that thing because move because you can practice simultaneously since we are you know, working on simultaneously and uh, I guess we're supposed to stop uh, but we will just have one more okay all right uh, so so that was that's how the delete command works. So what we do we, we created a table We inserted it values into the table that rows and what we did uh, is we also deleted a record So we deleted a record now we'll try to see uh, Select record so so we we this selection, but this is for All right Now we'll just copy and paste this so that save some time here now you know, we know select command select means select of course you're trying to select in a table select star star is a wild card anything with star in, in SQL means wild card wild card is like everything whatever you have show me show me everything whatever you have it's like kind of wild card from from is normal English okay from the table which table my table where class is very important username you know the username so you are using string here string is always in double quotes so string is very important because the reason that's the data inside that row okay so that string is very important make sure you do, you make it right all right so here if you select this and see that should be only show one record although it has only one record shown only one record now this gets highlighted my user this is the record so you have lot of options here edit copy delete don't don't worry about it real time you don't may you may not have access for this just view here what is showing up here okay um so okay so, so this is how um in case we are running out of time we don't want to go more into okay oh uh, guess what when this uh, we'll complete this section okay we'll just complete this is simple uh, we'll just complete here and it might take a while maybe more than an hour but uh, we'll just complete here because this, this will be quick and a little bit understanding 
So the list of existing, so there is a simple command here. So you want to know the list of database. So you already, if you type here, you already have this option so you see here whatever you want we can use it so databases you want okay so let's see what the, uh, we don't have this so i don't think this would work ah we have two databases information underscore schema and udemy underscore test that's great that's great this, uh, this show database means shows the list of database again if you don't have access you cannot even uh, get this information it might shows zero it doesn't show you because you might not even have that uh, viewing access okay view access is important so that's how you can uh, you can also show tables let's let's see how this table works um you can select this option here and click here and go ahead so there's only one table we have what we have created it is my table if you have more tables uh, oh this tables in my, this can be manipulated but we don't at this point of time we are just working on this so we don't want to mess up with this column so there's only one uh, row here my table okay so that means there's only one table that's great let's go ahead and this ah how interesting so we'll what we'll try to do this uh describe see here you can either use this we'll use this chart command actually uh, we'll try to use this describe table name i hope this works should work um we don't need this semicolon even if you put semicolon it should work but um Describe table name. I don't think it's work here. Yeah, it doesn't exist. So you know what? Guess guess what? We will just um, there is table name. There is table name. This called table underscore name. Okay, so we don't have to depend on them. Let's try to see if what is there. How interesting it's uh, exist because we don't have access. Simple, I guess. And there's the reasons doesn't work so um. all right so you know guess what we'll try to create a user here I don't think user works out here but we will still try to do this if it uh, works it's good if it doesn't uh, we'll not worry about it because this is not an administrative class. We'll just we this class is for MySQL, uh, you know MySQL professional, you know professional MySQL. Just uh, uh, we have various comments here, but okay. So you know we we just um, create user at uh, local host. If you have this IP address, put this IP address whichever the database is installed and identified by some password so i don't think this will work again admin access oh that's what i thought access denied you need one of the users to operate this permission of course so this course uh, creating users won't work for us at this point of time we don't have this access uh, again we don't have access to this too so this grant uh, we can get this access right here actually we go here and see uh we can go actually. yeah we not worry about this much of access kind of things yeah yeah if you go here uh you can insert from here and uh Yeah, don't want to. Uh, uh, this user interface won't help much, but we we to go through only the query part of it. So all this access kind of thing will not work. So what did we had this? So we'll end up this session quick. So what we did created <coughs> a database. Of course, we didn't do create any session of it. Created a table inserted values in the table updated a updated records in a table okay 
and uh, deleted it uh, and drop. We didn't do drop. Oh, uh, this drop is actually, you know, um, so there's the delete, so why you need drop, right? There's a difference between delete and drop. So drop is like structure, you know, gets whole structure of this. Delete structure remains same. Drop means a whole, you know, the structure. is the structure we have created, right? Remember, um, here you see in the structure, this structure is there. But if you use drop, this structure also will leave. But if you delete, only the records get deleted, but not the structure. Okay, that's the difference between delete and drop. So. So here, okay, creatable. So we'll stop here pretty much. Okay, we'll go to the section 1.2, uh, the next class. Uh, we'll try to see here. We'll try to create one more table. Guess what? We'll, uh, no, we'll just be this one. We'll try to see if this table gets, uh, if not, we'll go to the next section. Let's see. I don't think this will work because table, you cannot use this table actually, but I mean, you can still, let's see, let's find out. Ooh, actually it worked. Now we have two tables, okay. First name table with the name. Let's see what what is there here. Okay, we don't have to worry about it. So you see here, this is two tables structure. If you go to structure, you can see. How do you know? Select star from table. Now oh, recently we have created the table. Right? Table. Ah, this will create problems. I think this has some serious problems. Yeah. Okay. So here the problem is the table we're not supposed to take the table actually. This is the problem. We're supposed to instead of table we should have uh, gone some name and the table is the reserved name. We've used the reserved name. So that's not good. That's the reason it's not working. Uh, that's the reason it's giving some problem. Okay. So that's why it's not good. Um, nevertheless, we'll just uh, see here. Um, and uh, we assign some one column for this. Oh, that's first name. Uh, there is this is a structure but there's no values here uh, so the problem is we cannot oh okay let me just go to here ah this is the reason we are not working at the problem so it should work This won't work. See the problem we did was uh, this was an uh, um, we are not supposed to use the reserve name. We use the reserved name. That is the problem. Let's see what's the error. There's a keyword, right? Yeah. So that's the reason we are not able to select it. Okay. Uh, guess what? We'll just try to try to do this. I will try to run this query and stop this section here, and we'll s start this class. We'll continue in next class. Let's try to see if this query works. So what I'm trying to do here is select first name because we have created a uh, remember column name as first name from table where first name is like A. There's no values in that, so I don't think this would anyway work it. Yeah. We have to put insert, right? See, it, first name showed up, but there's no values here. See here? 
uh, there is no value so that is the reason this is a problem here ok so what we will do here is uh, we will go back to our insert query ok and then run that one so that should work is insert insert so we have to put it a somewhere here so we want to insert into the table uh, I don't think this is going to work See, the problem is you should not have uh, you should not have uh, taken that table into consideration should have been some other name like uh, uh, employee or something like that you know we, we did a mistake there so so this won't work either so um, but before inserting right uh, you have before doing this query before writing you have to insert some values guess what this will work actually you know what we will just try to run this um, query into oops not this equal to SQL uh, from my table remember we created a table my table so that should be good and where first ID there is no my query actually so let's do this uh, select star from my table so here you have this my user right uh, so what I will do here is my user. Yeah. I just have this explanation very quick. Uh, there is no first name, username. We just take select username. That is string from my table where username like. Yeah. Okay, great. Now let's have this explanation first. Let's run it. See if it works. Uh, ooh, I'll give you explanation for this. Ah, it worked. That's good. Now I'll give you explanation for what this all about. Now what we did is uh, don't worry about this one. Um, okay. Um, don't worry about that query. Uh, okay. Um, so what we here what we are trying to do is we are selecting the username so let's see here you have millions of record let's say you have millions of record and you don't know the name so here what you are trying to use is like operator this is an operator uh, where class you are using the table name select uh, the column name username from the table name my table which we actually created previously uh, we'll drop this table actually this is a nine okay uh, we will do that next class and see if you can do that all right okay where the username username is the column like operator that means you don't know the record num name the record num there are billions of record millions of record how would you supposed to know that but you know that it starts with m so you use m this is a string so you use quotes single quotes here okay not double single quotes and m percentile that means whatever value comes after m um, you know uh, percentile is kind of wild card here inside m and it shows uh, that means there is my user name that's what it shows up here so this is the use of a uh, like operator can we stop here this is a uh, lot two more to digest uh, we'll see next class and go to the next section here okay so i hope you liked uh, my uh, you know this my sql class and uh, you know we move forward uh, and uh, you know, hope to see you in next class thanks